Reset. Welcome to training day with Coach PJ. Today I'm going to take you through two variations of the skater hop. I'm going to use the first variation as a teaching progression to get ready for the more reactive variation that we're going to do at the end. So Sam's going to get set up for a single leg skater hop. He's going to go in a single leg stance and I'll have him go sideways so you can see the single leg stance. So he's on his left leg. His opposite arm is out in front, so his right arm's in front. His right knee is back. He's got his knee and his hip bent, and he's nice and balanced. His torso and his front shin are at about the same angle. So he's nice and balanced on that single leg. So now I'll turn around. So he's gonna go ahead and get set up in that stance, and we're gonna work on generating a little bit of power going laterally, and then also controlling and absorbing that force as he lands on his opposite leg on the other side. On me, he's gonna go ahead and jump out and land on his other leg. Go. Come to that. Go. Relax. And you'll notice something that Sam did there, and this is and something your athletes are gonna to try to do to cheat. I wanted Sam to just produce all that force out of the static position. What Sam did was that little bounce he added in there was trying to use a little bit of the elasticness of his muscles to create force. So what I want him to do is just create that force from the static position for the purpose of this drill and then absorb the force on the other leg. From there, once he's shown that he can uh, produce and absorb forces on both sides, we're going to progress this into a more reactive drill. So now we're going to add two things to it. We're going to add a speed component and we're going to add a reaction component where he's going to be reacting to an auditory stimulus and he's going to have to make a decision because I'm going to give him a direction right or left. So he's gonna get set up with his feet under his hips. He's gonna chop his feet up really fast. I'll call out a direction. When I call out that direction, that's the direction he's gonna go. So he's gonna quickly produce force off his outside leg and stick it on the other leg. So we'll get set up here, ready? Go, chopping the feet up fast. Right. Good, bring it back, let's go one more time. Go. Right. Switch your arms. So you notice we add a little bit of speed, we add a little bit of cognitive component, and mechanics start to break down. That's why we're using this. So I'm forcing Sam to not only react to me and my cue of right or left, but as I do that, I wanna see, is he able to take those directions and then figure out how to produce force with his body? His feet are now directly under his hips. In order for him to produce force going this way, he's gotta get that foot outside of his hip underneath his center of mass so that he can now drive his body in this direction. So I want to see him make that adjustment on the fly, chop his feet up, and then drop that foot outside of his center of mass so that he can get his body on the other side as fast as possible. And then while adding all of that speed component into it, is he then able to control those forces as he lands? So that was the, sing uh, sing the single leg skater hop, sticking each one. And then we progress to a reactive skater hop where I'm now calling out a direction, adding that cognitive component so we have a little bit more transferability into actual sport. Go. Left. Rest.